Alright, I got my other video camera back. So, now I'm on going back home. Eh? Better do it while the sun's still out. Camera batteries still have to charge up tonight, though. leaving the Mansio Crossing shopping complex. Headed home. You're right. right. <coughs> before the sun goes down tonight, not like last night. Mansfield Center, we're now passing by Mansfield Center. But earlier we just passed the police headquarters. Now this is the real death center of town. North and South Main Street and East and West Street meets. And the new housing development here to the left. It's not yet occupied, but it should be shortly. New affordable apartments and retail, mixed use office. So glad they built it, they needed it. And then we have more apartments, yes. More affordable housing here in the center of town. The old, the historic part of Mansfield as I'm passing by now. And an abandoned railroad right away uses a bike path now. Now we're going to be approaching the school system. Right on WXPR, right now they just play music now. Well, there's no talk show. Yeah, they're just playing music at night. So it's just right now. This is technically night. The new WXBR yeah, Rock Resurrected right right now. Broadcast oh. service of Azor Media oh. LLC. Mm. Pro EM1 mm. is the key to your Order Pro EM1 daily probiotic. Yeah, and they not pay for at infomercials. Infomercials. Or call toll free 
Online shut him off at the radio. Sorry, I shut off after hours. Throw EL1 after hours. Getting better. The following is a beta Your new home for mankind. That local council Different meeting one, may no. open their sessions with Christian prayers. No yes, mother and daughter walking by. Oh, recreational the softball, but it's slow down. Prayers before governmental meetings. Well, they should be on all night. That the authors of the Constitution well, they do have a new and nationally syndicator for no scouts. We pray for the communities. The High Court ruled that the content of the prayer though. is not significant mm. as long as it does not do well, how Wall Street do today? over converts. Also at SRNews.com, the White House says it's extremely concerned by the deteriorating situation in southern Ukraine. Spokesman Jay Carney says last week's riots in Odessa, which led to dozens of deaths, yeah. are particularly yeah, Jeff Corner's been talking about that in his morning media. show. The escalation of tensions in Ukraine. The violence and efforts to stabilize the country must end. The U.S. is urging Russia to follow through on its part of a diplomatic deal to de-escalate the conflict. The White House may not cooperate with the latest congressional investigation into the Benghazi attack. More from SRN's Great Cluxton. SRN News Service. The White House has cooperated yeah, well, with the Johnson the Canadian investigation. Press. But he suggested that the administration the may not take service. part in a new probe by a select House committee. SRN we have uh, always cooperated 7 with the oversight. Carney refused so to characterize whether the new chip. committee is viewed as legitimate. But he was quick to label the effort as unnecessary and highly partisan. Great Cluxton, SRN News, the White House. House Speaker John Boehner has tapped South Carolina's Trey Gowdy to head that new committee investigating the 2012 attack on the U.S. diplomatic mission in Benghazi, Libya. On yeah, the day, the Dow closed up 18 points oh, good. to end the day at 16,531. The Dow, the Nasdaq rather, gained 14. This is SRN. Oh, good. Slight, uh, burn, Man, slight go after a day. rally. This is the SRN News Service. Are we going to go more news or are we going to go directly to the show now? Hey, oh, hi. Um, do you want to dance? Sure. Because they do have an indicator to show Yeah, I can't get them overnight, though. Interest rates are still low. If you're thinking about getting into the real estate market, now may be the time to make your move. Every market's different. Call a Realtor today and visit Realtor.com. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Oh, my food's cooking. I got a transfer of files and upload away. its messaging service. Snapchat. That's Gordon Griffin has more on the story. Oh, the Snapchat app has never offered real-time conversation until now. Oh, God, Previously, users were only able to send Skype. each other photos and videos that self-destruct a few seconds Skype. after they are viewed. The Los Angeles startup says that messenger. Snapchat users will be able to chat by swiping right on a friend's name when users leave the chat screen. Messages will automatically be deleted. In keeping with Snapchat's tradition, users can take screenshots and chat if they want to preserve it. Gordon Griffin has well, save it too. PepsiCo has joined Coca-Cola in saying it's working to remove a controversial ingredient from all of its drinks, including Mountain Dew. PepsiCo said last year that it was removing the brominated vegetable oil from Gatorade. Today, Coca-Cola said it's dropping the ingredient from all of its drinks, including Powerade. Brominated vegetable oil is patented as a flame retardant. This is SRN News. To the SRN News Service. U.S. service firms grew more quickly so last month as sales and new orders rose. The Institute for Supply Management says its service sector index increased from 53.1 in March to 55.2 in April. Yeah, what a the figure day. comes following an encouraging job report Friday, which fuels hopes for a recovering economy. This despite another government report last week, which noted that the economy barely expanded in the first three months of the year. SRN's Jeremy House reporting. The American Legion is calling for the resignation of Veterans Affairs Secretary Eric Shinseki and two top aides 
Following allegations of corruption and unnecessary deaths at the VA hospital in Phoenix, the hospital is under fire over allegations that up to 40 patients may have died because of delays in care and that the hospital kept a secret list of patients waiting for appointments in order to hide the number of actual treatment delays. More details at srnews.com. From Washington, I'm Linda Kenya. Don't complain about your cable right, bill going on to the show. Yes, now the good old fleet of station can compete with AM680. Yeah, 7 p.m. they'll, 5 a.m. they'll have the syndicated news from the SRA news service. 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9, 21 hours, 10 p.m., 22 hours. 11 p.m. 2300 midnight zero minutes 1 a.m. 01 hours 2 a.m. 02 hours 3 a.m. when I wake up to start my work day during the week 03 hours 4 a.m. 04 hours and 5 a.m. 05 hours 5 a.m. those were morning drive stats you got the Wall Street Journal America in the morning. <laughs> Live from Toronto. Anything you want to discuss, just dial in toll free to 855 855-450-3733. Also, we invite you to our website at freetalklive.com. Live so we need to and Facebook. There. Too many to Free talk, talk live on Facebook. Time, and you can also go, go on our Twitter free. handle free at freetalklive. Free all in one on word. Skype. If you have Skype, you Skype. Add this username, lrn.fm. Just send a contact request to lrn.fm. And uh, we will accept your request, and it'll be easy for you well, to call. We will approve you. We will not decline you, unless you're a spam so bot. free to interact with us here on the air or online at freetalklive.com. Or on our Facebook so page. So it's not very often that on one gets yes, a front page online. story in the New York Times. It is not. Um, but it has happened uh, today in today's uh, edition, the Monday edition, as we're doing a show yep. of the New I'm York Times. I'm a fan of us, fan our page. an opinion piece. Now, when uh, columnist Dan Barry came to town, and he literally just showed up in Keene not having bothered to call anyone or send an email announcing his impending arrival. He literally just showed up and uh, knocked on the front door of uh, the, the, the studio and, uh, and found somebody to talk to. And then I came home a little bit later on and he talked to me and uh, he since did some follow-up and it sounds like there might be oh okay usually when the music comes up like that it means there's some sort of technical difficulty and there's the music again which i presume means that there is some kind of technical difficulty but now it's gone again so hopefully it will stay gone anyway as we were saying uh the reporter again I, you can't use the word reporter with this guy he on the he's a columnist uh, he does the, his name is uh, he does 7 p.m. Got to make food. And kind of the, the gimmick yeah. behind the column is that he wanders the United States. He goes to different places. Oh, I still got to get my medicine. And reports on. I have to go tonight. His, his audience would like to know. I got to go there. And he went to the team and wanted to talk to some folks. Um, I was impressed with how much this guy knew about what was happening in New Hampshire. A lot of reporters who uh, come to this story, they come as blank slates. So tell me about, yeah, they don't really know, maybe they've heard of something that was happening, and they want to talk about that something. But they haven't really done the level of in-depth research that this guy did. And, like, he did a lot of research, a lot. I'm sure he could have written many more than, many more words than he did in, the, in this particular piece. It's not that long. No, no, it's uh, it's not that long, but it's big enough to be on the front page of the New York Times. And of course, you know, we've been critical of um, print media here on Free Talk Live and have been chronicling a downfall in the New York Times. Okay. Let's, uh, let's put it that way. Well, yeah, somebody's uh, turning. As far as reporting goes, New York Times is among my favorite uh, newspapers in the world. 
they feel like they, you know, they're reporting, when they start the reporting goes, they look at it exhaustively compared to other newspapers, and I really like that. of the Daily Rap that aired in the now defunct WTKK. I know this is similar to the Daily Rap. Ah, I forget who, who, who was the whole. No, no, not, not John Batchelor. Speaking of John Batchelor, he would go on at night.
like when he gets what? mad, he loses his temper. Push. 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 Cleaning push. Camera's like an eye. Camera lens. Yeah, I got her inside no less than a thousand dollars. Listen to the pearls of wisdom coming from Mr. Watt. Come to go. They got some by number two. I run into today. It's this three car accident here, and uh, then we had a truck getting re rear ended by a car and swiped in the front of the car of the uh, small SUV. Oh, uh, is that a cop responding to this accident? Here we go. 
Boy, I lie with your live feed of the attack. It's part of the amazing Constitution 101. Oh. He's on break. Oh, another explorer in front of me. Same era. Mark Levin, then Michael Savage. Walked in center. Oh yeah, he's got to go to a call. Serious situation. on Main Street. You know, the restaurants and that sort of thing. The fact is that these parking places drive a certain amount of people out of, uh, of, the, of the downtown area. Yes, that's true, but those people could be in denial. Mark, 724. I mean, denial is very, very powerful. Yeah, I'm going to go stop and get my and medicine. And so there are a number of people who will uh, who will tell themselves that, that they deserve the parking ticket, that this is part of the agreement of uh, coming downtown. But that's not, that's not claiming you're not in bondage. Well, they, if you had agreed to those bonds, then would it really be bonded? No. If a person... If a, state, if, a, if a slave claims that I deserve the lashings, mm -hmm. that does not mean that the slave is not in bondage. I know, from, from no, an I'm outside not claiming... perspective, I know what you're saying, but if the slave believes firmly that he believes that, you know, that he wants those, that he deserves those lashes... No, no, uh, if the slave wants the lashes, they're not in bondage. 
if the slave believes they deserve Some of the last people issue. want the parking enforcement department. Some of them do, do, do the vast that. majority of people no, want that. That's why I'm calling right. this a lie. Okay. He just doesn't have this right. He needs, like, he's, he's got the, oh, it looks like the people of Keene are being saved by people oh. who don't want, who, and they don't want saving. No, 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 wait a second. The people of Keene send money to Robin Hood and, and his merry people because they do want saving. Some okay, people, guys. People give money. hugs. They say thanks. move. Oh, no, no. Your parking up rather than being free after five o'clock. to get more money. How are we going to do that? Right. And so we've been taking what they won't say is they'll say things like, Oh, we're not going after the Robin Hooders because they're costing the city money, it's because they're harassing park meter maids. But then they say, We need to raise rates. Why do you suppose they need to raise rates? Is it because the accountant who is Robin Hood? went through their books and found out that they've cost them somewhere in the neighborhood of tens of thousands. Bus. Oh, 155. trip from a road game and now she's turning to the yard for the night The light comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. My magic mud. Intersection of uh, North Quincy and East Ashland streets. I was just a Court Street earlier. 
has better stamina and energy due to faster, more complete absorption. Passion for Life contains 135 all-natural whole food ingredients. It's the best-tasting, most powerful product of its kind on the market. Order now by calling 844-TRY-LIVE or find out much more about Passion for Life by visiting 10, passing the Cessna Clan apartment complex. Call in toll free at 855 453. That's 855 453. Enjoy water, yeah. Seven thirty four. Father. 
This guy's turning towards me. Good day, put the super big battery. Temperatures, cold or hot. On force. You have a cartelized um, monopoly of force. So, for instance, um, the town of Keene is. And given its power from the states, too, initially, right? Yeah. So, you have the state, the state of New Hampshire is supposedly the monopoly of force, but it really sort of cartelizes out, um, even through different departments that often will war with themselves, and, and the federal government's the same way. It has moved into the realm of the actual monopoly of force, because that government, the federal government, goes on, and it not only does it dictate how things go on inside the United States, but it dictates to other countries how they're going to do business, either by hook or by crook. They'll either give you the payoff and say, hey, Here's some money. You know what we'd like to see? We'd like to see you expand your border patrols and uh, your your whole customs uh, apparatus and that kind of thing. We'd like to see some of this and drug interdictions. We need some money for that. Need, it looks like you need some tanks and some helicopters. We're going to give you those things. So, and, and, you know, in some ways, they it's either the carrot or the stick. Or if you don't follow the rules they want, they want you to follow from Washington, D.C., they'll, they'll in, invade, ultimately. Or they'll pay other folks to invade. They use the um, you know, financial institutions. Whatever it is that they've got to do, you'll obey whoever you are, or you'll get the stick. Well, uh, would you suggest calling it the violent cartel? And Dark. Turn 
on my walker lights. Approaching Hollis and Pawn Streets to set of lights. Case, yeah. Uh, one of its organizers, Andrea Parkhurst Whitcomb, is asking the relative newcomers a fundamental question. Who asked you to come free us? I'd like to point out that Andrea has never asked me that question in person. She has uh, never wanted to have any sort of meeting in public, any kind of coffee or anything like that. Um, so she's just asking. 